Hybrid Reactor, roll off. What's up, Reactor Eyes? I'm John. I'm Mike. And E3 is coming up really soon. So expect to check back at Nerd Reactor. We're going to be uh, discussing a lot of different video games. We're going to be checking out some new VR stuff, uh, especially some new demonstrations of games we're excited about. And uh, for this video, I just want to talk about like the games we're excited about, the games that are uh, that are highly anticipated for me at least, and for Mike. And uh, the first one, Mafia Three. Mafia Three. Yeah, yeah. you know we. We were first, uh, I think the first part of our list is going to be mostly like the games that are confirmed there. These are the games that are actually confirmed, will be there, we'll be able to go there and see them and, you know, hopefully play a demo of them. Just like that. We'll <laughs> play, yeah. <laughs> but yeah, Mafia 3. Uh, it's been a while since we played like a, let's say like a Mafia type video game. Like, when yeah. was the last time you really, I mean, I guess... Well, does Grand Theft Auto count? As, yeah, it's, like, uh, it's a little, a of... It's like crime, really. Like uh, not really like the mafia type thing. Like I guess you could even say like similar to Saints Row, but Saints Row is more like the kooky, you mm -hmm. know. Group. I guess the last one I remember, like yeah, that's really uh, infused with like the mafia stuff, would be like the Godfather games oh, or God. uh, Scarface, game. or uh, yeah, those uh, those games were fun for me, like Godfather. It had enough elements for me to enjoy. It wasn't like the greatest uh, sandbox game, like, you know, compared to GTA, but it still had enough for me, like, as a fan of The Godfather. Yeah, and, you know, so same with me. Like, I really enjoyed Godfather, and it seemed like certainly certain... Not everybody enjoyed it. I, I really liked it, and it was just fun to be in that world, and I, that's why I'm, I'm looking forward to this game, just kind of going back to that. And, like, I really like, like, if you've seen any of the trailers, they're talking about how you're going to go in there, and you're going to try to find out, like... Who the underbosses are? You, mm -hmm. You're gonna find out your information. So they're doing like a real like hierarchy of uh, a mafia instead mm -hmm. of just like okay, go here, kill this person. Like yeah. you're, you're trying to find out information. Like who's who's working under who? Who's you know who's a capo? Who's uh, you are know? we talking about Mafia Three now? Yes. Or? Okay. <laughs> <laughs> then know we segued already. <laughs> yes. Uh, for me, like. For Mafia 3, I'm not listening into too much details about what the game's going on. Like, for me, uh, the thing that just catches my eye uh, is the game being open world and just the Mafia uh, lifestyle. So I think that's enough for me to enjoy it. Like, just, just here it is, open world, uh, new gen Mafia game. Yeah. I'm sold. <laughs> yeah. I think one of the games I'm really, really looking forward to this year, um, Battlefield 1. Especially, you know, the people who are Battlefield fans, like, you know that a lot of it is teamwork. It mm -hmm. requires you guys to work together. And I really like that aspect of the game, and I'm really looking forward to this. This is, this is World War One. Yeah, this is, uh, there aren't that many games that's set in World War One. Very few. Because, uh, you know, like, the World War Two format was uh, just saturating the market. Yeah. And uh, the last World War One game I really enjoyed was, uh, what is it, that... It's still, oh, Valiant Hearts! Yeah, Valiant Hearts. It was a it was a side-scrolling uh, kind of like adventure game, mm -hmm. and uh, you get three different perspectives. Uh, but for this one, this is like triple A title, uh, first-person shooter. So this is big. This is massive, and I'm looking forward to uh, like just riding on horses, and then of course you got the tanks, and then maybe the, um, the Zeppelin blimps, uh, yeah, kind of cool or like that. you know the the gas attacks. That's gonna be crazy. Yeah. So yeah, I'm I'm looking forward to this. I'm I was kind of hoping that you know uh, Call of Duty would have done the same thing. Like everything's just kind of going future future, and it's like I think going back now, technology has drastically changed. So yeah. I feel like they could do a lot more with it now than they could before. But yeah, I'm really looking forward to this game. I can't wait to play it. I mean. I can't wait for the trench warfare. Trench warfare, yeah. yeah. That'll be interesting. Are we, are we in, real, in real time, <laughs> we could dig trenches. Yeah. Like, yeah. you gotta get it's up like, there. And it's like, ah. Press A to dig. <laughs> and then once you're in there, uh, you can you can meditate. And just wait until somebody attacks you. <laughs> what if you die? Then you're like, oh, somebody else go out there and, and dig. <laughs> yeah. I don't know. That would be interesting. Like, just to see how they would do that. And just to uh, see, like, no man's land. So, um... I'm like looking forward to that. Oh yeah, like just all the barbed wire and all the bodies. Yeah. Oof. yeah. Good stuff. <laughs> <laughs> uh, the, uh, the next game I'm uh, looking forward to that's going to be at E3 uh, is uh, Deus Ex Mankind Divided. And this game is coming uh, in August, so it's like it's really close. 
but I love the human revolution. I love the Deus Ex games. Uh, you got that like civil war type aspect with uh, you got regular humans going up against people with uh, augmented abilities, like you got the augmented arms or chips and all that. And it's, it's such an emotional like their trailers that they've released. It's uh, you care about it. It's like these can be live action movies and. That'd be cool. I want to see that. The main character for Deus Ex, uh, Mankind Divided, he's, you know, he's augmented, like, uh, all over his body. And I wonder how he's going to feel with this world being divided between the uh, Augs against the humans. Like, is he going to try to play both sides or are the regular humans going to hate him? It's going to be interesting to see. And especially if you're a fan of uh, stealth, like the game pretty much gives you a lot of options on how to do things. Yeah. Like whether you want to infiltrate, uh, just you know, burst open a door or try to sneak in, um, trying to uh, go in the back area, or just going all gung ho. So the game uh, gives you many options. Uh, next one, uh, something that uh, we've been waiting for for a while. Uh, it's been too long. And it's already been confirmed that it's going to be on the floor. I'm hoping. I mean, it's, it says uh, you know that, that it will be there. Uh, Last Guardian. Mm -hmm. I, mean, uh, I can't wait anymore. I, I'm tired of waiting. Uh -huh. if, if, has if, the hype died down? It, for you it has. After waiting? If it's not there and we don't get to play it, like if they just show like video of it, I'm I'm just gonna say it's canceled. Because at this point, I'm like I'm losing faith. Yeah. Like, please. I, I'm looking forward to the game. Um, but when we went to check out the. Uh, uh, last year's E3, like the demonstration, I wasn't really wowed by it just because it was uh, still just the graphics. Uh, uh, I wish it were a little bit. Uh, it still felt like PS2 graphics. I'm sure it is. Yeah. <laughs> I'm pretty sure. <laughs> or even in, or maybe like PS3. Yeah. But uh, I'm I'm still looking forward to it because uh, team uh, team Eco, Ico, whatever you want to okay. call them. <laughs> yeah. Uh, you know, I love I love their games. I love the Shadow of the Classes. That was great. So I'll still play this. I just won't be like as excited, like wowed by like just the environment, but I'll still be like, oh, this is still cool. Yeah, because I mean, I, I'm in the same uh, you know boat with you because it's, it's just been too long. You 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 draw these things out to the point where the hype is dying down for it, and it's like now, you know, it's not even. I mean, it may not be you know Duke Nukem Forever territory, but I mean, we've been waiting for how long for this game, and so. Just judging from what we've seen, it doesn't seem like they've done like huge updates to it. Mm -hmm. I'm pretty sure they're just gonna try to like finish it and be like, yeah. Okay, right now, I think go. it's just they're just focusing on just delivering a game, like a good story, a good uh, gameplay mechanics. So uh, that hopefully should be like enough to hold uh, fans over. Yeah, I and mean, I mean that's one of the reasons why I'm I'm super excited for this game, and I'm hoping I'm hoping we get some hands on time. I want to be able to sit there and hold it in my hands and be like, this is real. This is happening. This is going to come out. <laughs> Soon. <laughs> uh, the next game I'm looking forward to at E3, Final Fantasy XV. Uh, I've never been like a huge Final Fantasy fan. I've, <gasps> I've loved, uh, I've enjoyed certain games. And those certain <laughs> games are the one that's not turn-based. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Yeah, like Final Fantasy VII. Sorry guys, I'm not a fan of that game just because of the turn base. But with 15, it's like it's real time action, and I can get by that. And I think because of the that gameplay mechanics, I think it's going to open the door for more gamers to uh, enjoying it. I don't know about you. Yeah, I, I, I could see. Like I was never big into Final Fantasy either. Uh, I did play seven, some of it. Uh, I played ten. I almost beat it until mm -hmm. I lost the memory card, and then uh -huh. once that was gone, I was like, I'm, I'm done with this game. It was like 35 hours gone. So, yeah. <laughs> so you know, now like with this new game, it's got me interested. The the style is cool. I like the the fight style, I like the, the look of the characters. I like the 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 idea of the story, uh, especially with how much they're really like kind of like going all in on this mm -hmm. this uh, storyline. It's not just Here's the game. It's here's the game. Here's a movie. Here's you yeah, know, they're going all out. Yeah, the yeah. animated series. Yeah. You know, that's cool. I like that. I like when they can give you like a world that you could really lose yourself in. If they're like, all right, you know, I want to find out every little detail about these characters and how they've all ended up to this point. So I think that's really cool. Yeah, and uh, the thing I like more uh, most about this is just the whole uh, using uh, just the environments around us. Like it's inspired by our world. But it's still like in a fantasy world, mm -hmm. so it's like a nice hybrid 
and uh, just the elements of like the, the cars and then the buildings, the cities, the clothing they wear. Uh, it's very, uh, very interesting for me at least. Uh, another game I'm really hyped about, um, confirmed, uh, will be there. We will be able to check it out. Telltale's Batman. So, you know, we, we're no stranger to the Telltale series or their games. Uh, we've covered them a lot in the past. And it seems like, especially in the, like, the last year or so, we've kind of, like, soured on the whole experience. Like, it's just kind of, it's kind of rep rep repetitive. I think for me, it's just the game engine. It's just, uh, it's kind of outdated now. Like, when it, the Walking Dead series, uh, when the first season was great, like, I enjoyed it. Uh, just like it's like one of a kind back then as like one of the pioneers. Uh, I, I enjoyed Wolf Among Us. It was great for that style because it's based on a comic book. Mm -hmm. And then uh, you have games like Game of Thrones. I was uh, I thought Game of Thrones was okay. It's like I wished uh, they would use a different game engine for that. Uh, but it's like it, it comes like kind of formulaic in terms of just uh, the, the controls. And I rather have it just. Uh, the world to be freed up, kind of like Life is Strange, like the episodic adventure game. Yeah. And uh, for me, Life is Strange was able to just bring me like a really cool uh, uh, game mechanics and um, time travel and all that, rewinding time, and very uh, interesting story. So I want I want Telltale to just uh, up the ante, you know, like neither here or the other companies, and don't get too comfortable with what you have and step it up. But, you know, I think with the... Uh... Telltale's Batman, it's, it is a new engine. They've already said that. It's a new uh, engine. I think it's still going to have that same uh, formula, formula. Of like uh, the uh, character movement. It's not really like it's the third person, but not like from behind the character. So it's, uh, it's going to be like your traditional adventure game. You think but it's be I'm hoping. <laughs> I think it might still be cell shaded. I'm, I'm hoping they uh, prove me wrong. Uh, also, you know, the big thing I think this year. Even though it was last year, I think, uh, well, it was a big part of last year, but I think this yeah. year it's going to be bigger. You're really driving it home because uh, they're available, you know, <laughs> VR technologies right yes. now this year. I was going to say yeah. that. <laughs> <laughs> VR. <laughs> VR is what we're looking forward to this year. I mean, I I think we're going to see some actual titles. Like, I think last year and, like, the years before or the, the previous year and so forth, it's all been, like, kind of tech demos. Like, okay, yeah. this is what's possible. Yeah. Now, let's really build an entire game around it so and then you got to try out some stuff at GDC as well so. yeah GDC was earlier this year and one of the highlights for me for VR was a Ubisoft game called Eagle Flight and uh, it's it has elements that reminds me of Assassin's Creed uh, but you're an eagle you're flying around <laughs> Paris and it's it's like it's a really cool feeling like you move with your head so like you want to fly left, you tilt your head left, and you tilt your head right to fly right, and you look up, you go up. So it's very intuitive, very easy. Like I felt, I felt like, uh, you know, like a top class uh, uh, fighter pilot. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, the coolest thing about this game is that you can do multiplayer, like uh, capture the flag, but instead of a flag, you're capturing rabbits. <laughs> and so for us, we had like two against two. And uh, so we're just flying around. We're trying to like kill each other while trying to capture the rabbit and bring it back. And the cool thing about Paris, it's set up. You can fly in between buildings, between trees, wow. and you can like bob and weave like that, just to try to like dodge <laughs> their uh, their uh, projectiles. So it's really really fun. And I'm hoping you know, it's going to be at E3, and uh, I think a lot of people is going to enjoy this one. There are a lot of games that's going to be at E3. And uh, if we talked about them, this video is going to be longer than it is. Yeah. But uh, yeah, just just check it out. Uh, there's going to be plenty of games. We'll be covering them. Let us know what you want to see. What, yeah. what are some of your games that you're looking forward to this year? Yeah. And with that said, I'm John. I'm Mike. And we'll see you guys next time.